In this video, I'm going to break down the difference between shared, VPS, dedicated, and cloud web hosting. This is vital for anyone who wants their website running smoothly and fast. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to become better at affiliate marketing using YouTube and blog. And don't forget to hit the bell for notification for all the new videos that do come out every week. Let's go. Hi, my name is Yogesh. Welcome to my channel, Utilize Your Business. Today, we're going to be talking about a very important subject that not that many people know about it, web hosting. You might think that you know everything about web hosting, but there it is more complicated than you know. But don't worry, this video, I'm going to break it down and easy for you to understand about the different web hosting. So let's get started. Watch this video till the end so you understand completely what are the different types of web hosting and which is better for your business currently. Let me know in the comment, yes or no, if you're actually looking to change your uh, web hosting or for that matter, change the type of uh, hosting you're currently in. Let me know in the comment if that is true. It is not always easy to understand what type of web hosting your website or blog need to know about it, which one they should have it. Well, in this video, I'm going to break it down to all the different types of web hosting. There, I'm going to talk about share i'm talking about vps i'm talking about the dedicated and also the cloud web hosting and i'm going to sh tell you all the difference between these web hosting and which one will make sense to you so watch this video till the end so that you actually know which one is better for your current situation and you're not paying extra for that matter you actually have a wrong website uh, hosting than actually what you needed so watch the video till the end and uh, if you like anything give me a thumbs up if you like this video and also for that matter put in the comment uh, what are the videos you want me to uh, talk about it regarding the web hosting and also what else topic you would like want to hear it all right so that Let's talk about the first type of web hosting is the shared web hosting. That means is you're sharing a server with other people and all of your data is stored on the same hard drive as the other people. So you don't know whose website you're sharing the same. It could be an XYZ from uh, USA or another website from uh, Europe or for that matter from India and on and on. Now, this is the most least complicated and the cheapest option out there from the type of website but it's also the least secure now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of uh, shared website hosting and who should consider this website so what are the advantages obviously for my intro of uh, shared web hosting it is the most cheapest option out there for beginners you start from anywhere from three dollar and all the way to seven ten or twelve dollars and second of all is you don't have to worry about the administration of the servers all of that is taken care of it by the hosting company so those are the two big advantages of shared web hosting now let's talk about disadvantage of shared uh, web hosting first of all is you don't have access to the admin so because all of this maintenance and everything is taken care of by the hosting company you don't get any access so any, any changes you want to do on your website websites are on the shared server so that uh, there could be a problem with the other website which will impact you could be your traffic could be what if the other website is hacked your website is also hacked for that matter so the security concern and all that is, is the main concern for your website and with the shared web hosting you don't have control over that looking at the advantages and disadvantages people who wants to start with the uh, with the websites and they are beginners and there is a budget concern or they just want to test it out to see how will they do in the building a website you might want to start with the um, tier web hosting because it is like i said the monthly is very cheap and another point is that you don't have any <clears throat> technical aspect you have to control everything is controlled by the web hosting guy so you don't have to worry about the administrative side of it or back end of it so people who just want to start or just want to test it out 
this might be a, a good plan for you. Now, uh, there are a lot of different companies, all of the companies, web hosting company does provide the uh, shared web hosting plan, but I'll recommend Bluehost or for that matter, SiteGround that you can uh, consider it going for with the shared uh, web hosting. Now let's move on to the second type of web hosting. It's called VPS, meaning virtual private server. It means you can have your own computer or your dedicated server at the lower price and it will work similar to the like uh, dedicated web hosting. The VPS also offer a more security than the shared web hosting plans. Now let's take a look at the advantages of uh, VPS. If you're looking at VPS, VPS is less expensive than the uh, dedicated server, but it gives you more security versus the shared plan. You can also easily scale add-on services as your website grows. And most important is with the uh, VPS, the payment, the monthly subscription is a lot more less than it is with the dedicated server web hosting plan. These are the advantages of using VPS over the shared hosting plan. Now let's look at the disadvantages of uh, VPS. So the first disadvantage of uh, VPS is for the people who are just starting their website. It is a little bit, the plans are a little bit more expensive than the shared plan. And for that matter, they don't need all the resources which are available to them in the uh, VPS servers. The second is when you buy the uh, VPS plan, uh, your technical aspect, technical support that is given from the web hosting is not as much as it is for the dedicated server plan. So make sure that the, the web hosting that you choose is the is the right one. It is the trusted. And uh, I just did a couple of um, review on the different uh, websites, web hosting. I'll put the link in the um, description to help you out uh, to review which uh, particular web hosting company is good for your business. So VPS server could be the right uh, plan for the person who is, whose website is growing and it's perfect gap between the uh, a bridge between the uh, shared web hosting plan and the uh, dedicated server plan. It is the bridge so that uh, as you keep on growing more and more, you can, you know, add on more services and you're getting towards the shared web hosting. So this is for those people whose website is growing and they want to have control of their website. And uh, once your web website starts growing, you are competing against other websites which are more faster, have, are more secure. And in order for you to be have those two things, you need to move from the shared server hosting to the uh, VPS server hosting. And the companies that's good for them, like I said, is Bluehost, SiteGround, or for that matter, you can also try the WP Engine. They're one of the top in the WordPress, and I just did the video on that. I'll put the link in the description. Now let's talk about the next web hosting plan. It's called the dedicated server web hosting plan. The plan is for people who want their own machine, meaning their own server for themselves. And it's dedicated website if those websites are high traffic. So they're more concerned about the speed, security, and they don't have to worry about uh, other websites who are, you know, affecting their own website and they want to take control of their own uh, website. In simple words, for people who have a high traffic websites and they don't have to worry about other people, they want to have their own server dedicated to their own website. That's what dedicated web hosting plan is. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantage of having this type of plan. The first advantage is the more reliable performance. You have the control over the server and it's much safer and more secure than the other two type of uh, web hosting we talked about, shared and uh, VPS. Now let's look at the disadvantages of dedicated web hosting. First of all, it's more expensive than the uh, shared or uh, the VPS. Second of all is more advanced, so you do need to have some knowledge. If not, you need to hire people who are knowledgeable in the um, servers. Third and most important is you need to arrange your own web hosting. Those are the three disadvantage and uh, that's the reason why most of the people don't go for the dedicated server, but it is most important and it is good for the people 
who have higher traffic, mostly mid to a large size companies with their own web hosting or for that matter, huge uh, blogging websites. They, this is the good uh, plan for them. Now let's talk about the fourth uh, type of uh, web hosting called cloud-based web hosting. Now the cloud-based web hosting gives you access to the different servers all around the uh, world. So, so the different geographical region. In this case, what it does is it makes your website a much faster and it easier to load. So that's a one thing for cloud-based website. Another important point of cloud-based web hosting is it gives you more accessibility flexibility and also in terms of pricing there are a lot of cloud-based uh, web hosting which i will talk about it after advantages and disadvantage with there you can take uh, advantage of it and make your website more faster speaking of advantage and disadvantages let's discuss about that now the main advantages of cloud-based web hosting is first of all it'll give you a blazing fast speed then the second point is can balance the uh, offload on the different uh, servers. It's not just on one server. You can also increase the site capacity and capability at the, at the faster rate than the other hosting plan. And last but not least is it can balance it out in terms of the loading between the multiple server. So it's not depending on just one server. Hence, it'll make your website more faster, reliable, and more secure. Now, let's talk about the disadvantages of cloud-based websites. First and most more is the risk of data confidentiality. There is always a risk of uh, your data can be accessed by the other people. The the second one is the it depends on the you know internet connection around the world. So your you know website, some of the servers might be slow, so faster depending on what side of where they are located in the world another one is like we always talk about is the security level of security how secure is web hosting where your uh, the web hosting company is uh, you know hosting your data and last but not least is the technical issue that that always crop up and it will depend on on the web hosting how soon they can fix that uh, technical uh, problems of the your website that is now after stating the uh, advantages and disadvantages now you know that for the people who wants to have a blazing faster website are their uh, websites are you know having a lot of high traffic they are the one who will most likely go to uh, cloud-based uh, web hosting now there are a couple of companies uh, who are uh, will give you uh, you know access to cloud-based uh, web hosting at uh, you know lower the price once you once your website is you know, obviously growing it will uh, go up pay as you go one of the website is called cloudways and surprise surprise i did the review on that i'll put the link in the description you know the drill you can go ahead and check it out and see how it is so those were the four different type of uh, web hosting that you can have it and advantages and disadvantages of uh, each web hosting now for the people who are still watching this uh, video thank you very much give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which web hosting are you going to go for is it be a shared web hosting or a vps or how about dedicated server or for those people who want to have a blazing speed and um, have a lot of traffic you can go for a cloud base now i'm going to put the link for for the web hosting that can help you out with all different uh, type of web hosting that uh, you're going for it do check out uh, this link and um, let me know in comment which of the web hosting that you went for it that being said hit the uh, subscribe button and then hit the bell to get notified for all those new videos that we do come up every week all right guys thank you very much for watching and thank you and i'll see you next week bye